Hi there, this is a quick video in response to a comment I've had on a very old video on using a simple Fairbot automation rule to act as a stop loss. Uh, first of all let me just apologise for the sound quality, the internal microphone on my laptop is picking up the fan noise so hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. So first of all let's just open up Fairbot, um, make sure you have a market open but what you're going to do first of all is make sure you're using simulation mode the reason for that is as you're setting up a new rule you want to test it in simulation mode and set it up in simula simulation mode uh, you don't want bets inadvertently firing into a market that you have open uh, in live mode not until you've tested it thoroughly OK, to set up a new rule, you need to use a strategy editor and you can get that via the automation tab here and this, this button or you can go up to tools and click on strategy editor. Note that this won't open unless you have a market open. So you just click on this button here to create a new strategy and it will come down at the bottom there highlighted. You want to rename that, give it a proper name. Let's just call this auto stop loss. And then come over to this blank area here, right click and choose add rule. Now this particular uh, automated stop loss is a fairly simple rule. All we're going to do is uh, red up at minus 10. Minus 10 pounds. Okay, we want this to happen in running. But we need to have the in running market fully settled first so what we want to do is set that to perhaps maybe between 5 and 10 seconds um, to give the market a little bit of time just to settle otherwise you may end up finding that this rule triggers when the market's just opened but there's hardly any money in it uh, so let's set it to 5 to 10 seconds that should be sufficient then click on the action tab the action we want is to green up all our selections that we have positions on. Use the available price because it will get matched quicker than the most profitable price. Cancel anything that's unmatched or, or pending. Uh, and then since we're in running, bet persistence doesn't really apply here. However, we need to set a condition. And that condition is we want the possible green, the market green up all p l to be less than or equal to minus 10. Okay, so in other words, whenever the green up position of the market falls below minus 10, or hits minus 10 and falls below it, this rule will trigger. And that's it. Click on OK. That's now been specified in here. And that's us finished. We can come out of this, but we'll be asked to save the changes because we want to do that. And now what we'll find is the strategy is available here. Auto stop loss. Let me just move this over so you can see more of it. Okay, so that's the name that we gave it. Read right up at uh, minus 10 pounds. Execute once, wait for 10 seconds, and only do it from 7 seconds after the start of in play. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to green up all, assuming that the green up all price is less than or equal to minus 10. Of course, the term green up all is actually a little bit misleading here in the sense that that figure will be red. But you get the drift. Anyway, that's how to set it up. Make sure you test it thoroughly within uh, simulation mode first before you try to use it uh, in the real world. Okay, thanks very much. I hope that helps. Cheers.